In this video, we're going to look at the impact of the interest rate hike that happened a few weeks ago on the real estate market because uh, the April stats just came out and things are not looking all that great. So uh, let's get started. Now, for the purpose of this video, so the video is not like three hours long, um, I'm just going to focus on these five markets. Um, Mississauga, Brampton, Burlington, Oakland, and Milton. So hopefully by looking at this, you guys can make up your own mind, you know, like is the real estate market crashing or just cooling down or adjusting or balancing out whatever you guys want to decide on. Okay, so now I have had uh, some agents uh, reach out to me and say, well, what, you know, why are you reporting bad news? Uh, you, you should not panic the buyers and sellers. <laughs> I'm literally just reporting stats from the Toronto Real Estate Board. That's all I'm doing. I'm just putting them in chart forms and stuff. But these are just stats from the Toronto Real Estate Board, so uh, I'm not sure why they're killing the messenger because I think the public should know the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> um, anyways, so what we're going to look at is average prices, number of sales, cancellations, and new listings. Now, out of those five markets that I mentioned earlier, Mississauga and Brampton uh, sell majority of the homes. They're at about 33% each. And Oakville and Burlington, they have their own board, so a number of sales go over there as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just focusing on the Toronto Real Estate Board stats. Now, this is what everybody wants to see. So what I did was I took the stats uh, for average prices for from January, and I compared them to April. So you can see here, just in, in, you know, in about three months or so, Look at the price drops. They are all in red. Um, you know, minus 157 for Burlington. Milton is still, I mean, bad, but not as bad as the others. It's down about $84,000. Brampton is down about $177,000. Oakville is at minus 351. Now, Oakville does have like, you know, multi-million dollar homes. So sometimes what happens is like three, four of them will sell in one month and the price shoots up a lot. And then it comes crashing down because those three didn't sell the next month. But uh, if you guys want to look at uh, month by month what's been going on, I prepared this chart. Uh, so this is Oakville here, and you can see it's in a it's on a steady decline. Brampton is in purple, so it's also declining. I guess I could have picked better colors. I mean, they all kind of look the same. <laughs> so uh, all right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that's month by month uh, average prices for detached homes only. Now let's look at condo average prices. So for this video, I did detached and condos. Let's see how the condo market's doing. Um, same thing, I looked at the January stats, compared them to April, and all five markets here. Pretty high prices in January, because um, winter is usually slow, but January was on fire, and it's changed these two are in the red so they've dropped quite a bit but milton missaga and brampton compared to january to april they're up so they're up so if you own a condo in one of these markets you're still okay now this is month by month if you guys want to just do a quick study of january february march april how it has fared so far uh, same thing all on a decline um, now compared like January to April, like if you, let's say compare Brampton, it's up. But if you compare it from March to April, it's still down. Same thing in Mississauga. If you compare it to January to April, it's up a little bit. But if you compare it to March to April, it's also down. So that's kind of where things are heading. Now, number of sales uh, in all five markets. I compared March to April because uh, March is when things started kind of changing. And a lot of people did put up their house for sale because they saw that, okay, the market's starting to shift. So I don't want to wait till June or, you know, July. I'm just going to put it up, put it up for sale right away. So if you look at the number of sales, like let's say Mississauga, for example, it's down 32% in um, homes sold. And that's just in one month. Now, I know a lot of TV reports compare like April of this year to April of last year, which is fine as well, but I just wanted to get like the immediate impact of the rate hike that we had. So 32% down in terms of activity, Brampton down 23%, Burlington at 20%. I guess you guys really don't need me to read the stats. <laughs> you guys can see them. And cancellations of listings. Now, 
here are the cancellations of listings. Now, I'll explain the importance of this uh, because I don't see it covered in a lot of other real estate blogs or videos. I think these are important because in a hot market, not too many listings get canceled because um, everything's selling, so there's really no need to cancel a listing. And listings usually get canceled only for about two reasons. One is that, you know, the sellers just change their mind. They don't want to sell anymore, so that's fine. You know, they take it off the market. But majority of the times why a listing is canceled is because that they were not getting the price that they wanted. And so sometimes maybe the agent suggested, you know what, we're not going to get this price, so let's lower the price. But instead of lowering the price just on the current listing, let's just relist it as a new listing. So there's new interest, so it's, you know, shows up zero days on the market and all that kind of stuff. So that's majority of the reason like why uh, things get canceled. So as you can see here in January, very low numbers, not too many listings getting canceled because everything was selling, everything was flying off the shelf, so no need to cancel anything. But if you go month by month, you can see every single month, every single city is inclining. Brampton went from 59 to 844 listings. So these are all the people, like I said, there could be other reasons for cancellations, but majority of the time, they're canceling and relisting as a new listing. So look at all these numbers. And th that, what is that? That's almost like 2000, 2000 listings that they were not getting the price that they wanted and they canceled it and relisted it at a lower price, most likely. Okay, uh, new listings. Now, why is this important? Uh, it's important because let's say you're a buyer, you know, you've been losing out on multiple offers for the past three, four months and you're kind of discouraged, kind of giving up, this is new hope for you guys because this is not just this year. Every spring what happens is more listings always come up on the market because everybody wants to sell when the weather's nicer, you know, the gardening and everything looks better. So new listings, very low. And this is not bad actually. These numbers are not bad for winter. That's pretty good. But look how many listings are coming up in April. This is how many came up in April. So why is that important? It's important because let's say you're shopping for a house. You, if you're against like five, six offers, maybe don't panic. Maybe don't end up overpaying for that house because just know that more listings are coming up on the market. So chances are something similar should come up in a couple of weeks. I mean, unless it's a very unique property and you fell in love with it. So, you know, that you do what you please, but uh, this should create less panic in the buyer's market. Um, so that's why that's important. And yeah, I think, I think that's about it. That's what I wanted to cover because um, if you Google anything relating to interest rates in Canada or, you know, you watch the news, you guys do know there's another hike coming up in June and another one later in, later in the year. And some people, like here, some people are expecting them to go to like 7% or so by end of the year or next year. So that's why this, um, what I did was important because we want to see what kind of impact just 0.5% has on the market. So if it goes up by another 0.5 or like one or one and a half, you guys can maybe use this as an example and then maybe apply it uh, to the future. So hopefully that helps. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this kind of information, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe, it kind of makes my day. <laughs> And I am a real estate agent, believe it or not. <laughs> so if you guys need any help buying or selling in those five markets or in that area, uh, feel free to reach out. I've been around a long, long time, so I'd be happy to help out. You can reach me at realtorvic.ca. Uh, that's my number there. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'll see you. Thanks. Bye.